Hello beautiful people, welcome to AM Yoga Moves. In this video, I want to share with you some really interesting information I've been reading in this book I bought called The Science of Yoga. My book is in French, but of course I will be sharing with you in English, so don't worry. <laughs> so what I want to share with you today is the benefit that yoga has on our brains. So the yogis refer to this as samskara, which are the imprints or the paths in our brain that are created as a result of our conditioning of our life experience and what happens is that these prints are not necessarily always serving us so how do we change that well in science they refer to this as neuroplasticity and in order to change, so it's the connection between neurons, it's like predetermined pathways, and in order to change the pathways and create new habits, new ways of thinking that actually serve us, well, we should be sort of repeating the, and reinforcing these positive and good behaviors um, very, very frequently uh, to reinforce the new pathway and kind of get rid of the old one. So science is now discovering that yoga is excellent for promoting neuroplasticity in the brain and actually creating new uh, nervous cells. So science used to believe that we were born with a certain amount of neurons and that was it, uh, but we, they now know that this is untrue. And in fact, new neurons are created in the stem cells uh, that are located in the hippocampus. And that part of the brain is responsible for memory um, and also your sense of smell. So um, just by doing asana practice, we promote that. One of the uh, things that they suggest also is to change up your routine. So change the sequence of asanas you're doing. Don't always do the same thing. Um, and also, meditation really uh, cr helps create gray matter in the brain and reduce the levels of cortisol in the brain that is associated with stress. And when we have high levels of cortisol in the brain, this also um, kind of correlates with memory loss. So by regularly practicing yoga, meditating, changing the sequence of asanas, this can really help us sort of shape um, not only the body on a physical level, but create um, new connections between neurons in the brain so that we can not only have a more healthy life on a physical level, but on a mental level. Um, also the mudras, for example, the various mudras uh, that exist, by doing these frequently, this really um, uh, helps the area of the brain that is associated with coordination, dexterity, uh, very fine uh, movements. And, you know, it makes complete sense. And I think the yogis probably knew that in their own way thousands of years ago. And now science is sort of catching up to that. We are not just a physical being. We are an emotional, mental, a spiritual being. Uh, so we need to take care of ourselves in a holistic way. So I thought it was nice that to, to share this information with you and maybe, you know, sort of encourage you to start practicing or if you're already practicing um, to maybe have a more frequent practice and also integrate uh, meditation in your practice. So it's not just, yoga is not just and it's the asanas, it's not just the postures. Um, so you can know now that meditation is excellent for your memory, uh, excellent for the brain. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to do more on this type of subject because I, I find it quite interesting to read. So I wanna share that with you guys. If you haven't checked out my YouTube channel yet, you can do so at AM Yoga Moves. The link is also in my bio on my Instagram account. And from now until then, well, take care. I'm sending lots of love, lots of energy your way. Thanks for watching and see you soon on the mat. Namaste.